I want to talk about the, the, the black vote in this country. I, I feel like there is a paradigm shift happening in the way politics has gone in this country for the last 50, 60 years. I mean, you had, I, we just saw 50 Cent comes out criticizing the chaos in New York. I mean, these, these guys have a lot of influence and, and really supporting over those Trump. communities. And he, said, he yeah. says maybe Trump is the answer. You've had a lot of these rappers come out. I, I, if, if you can get even 20% yeah. of the black vote, these, I mean, their whole game is toast. I mean, you're talking about a rally maybe in the Bronx. You're talking about one maybe at Madison. So you're talking about Madison Square Garden. You're talking about going yeah, into talking New about York City yep. and doing a political rally Why as, if, as if New York is on the table. Well, take a look at New York. It's a mess now. And I'm not even blaming the mayor. Look what, look what happened. They sent in 350,000 illegal aliens, uh, migrants, call them whatever you want. Then they start beating up our police force. Okay. These, these thugs, and they're rough-looking guys, by the way. And they, they want to get like $50 they could million. They be on the dollars. Iowa wrestling team, if you want to know the <laughs> truth, okay? We have a great team. But, uh, or Penn State has yeah. a great team. Yeah. But these are rough guys, and you see them just pounding our police who are laying on the ground. And they don't even get bail. They and then they get out. out, and they give everybody the finger. Yeah. They give you the finger and cursing at everybody, like, you know. We are so, we're so pathetic as a country in terms of law and order. We have the greatest police in the world, but they're not allowed to do their jobs. When you have 200 usually young people walk into a department store and totally strip it of everything, walk out with television sets, and the police, you know, are dying to do their work, just like Border Patrol. Right. They're dying to do their work, but they're not allowed to do their work. Rob, Scary. they're not allowed to do it. They're not allowed to do anything. They have to stand there, the employee, if you and they're told the if you do you're anything, fired. you're fired, yeah. and you lose your pension, you lose your family, you lose your house, you lose everything. The police want to do the job, and they're not doing it, Rob. It's, uh, they're not allowed to do it. Yeah. I, I want to ask you... The country is just... Yeah. It's so pathetic. And, you know, other countries are watching this. I'll tell you what. I got to know Putin very well. I got to know she very well. I got along with everybody, you know, et cetera, et cetera. But they knew it was no games. I was talking to Putin a lot about Ukraine... It was the apple of his eye. There's no way he would have ever moved. When, when Biden showed that horrible situation, that horrible uh, surrender, because that's all it was in, a, in uh, Afghanistan, the way he got out of Afghanistan, and I was getting, I'm the one that got it down. I was going to keep Bagram. I was going to keep the air base. Yeah. You know, it's one of the biggest, I think it might be the biggest air base in the world for runways. And we gave it up. It's one hour away from China where they make their nuclear weapons, okay? One hour away. And we gave it up. You know who occupies it now? They say China occupies it now. No, we have a very, very bad situation. When Russia saw that, that's when they started to move. They saw how we... It's like we fled Afghanistan. And I spoke to the leader of the Taliban, Abdul, and I said, don't do it. You know, I didn't have one person, one soldier shot in 18 months in Afghanistan. Not one soldier was shot. And then this thing happened. 13 were killed, and... You know, they, they never talk about the people that were injured, but these aren't injuries like, you know, no. you, hurt your, you hurt your foot. Yeah. These are injuries that are devastating, like, you, like no legs, no arms, and your face is obliterated. Uh, five years ago, you wouldn't have been able to live, you know, with the kind of injuries we're talking about. These are uh, the most horrific injuries that anybody can have. We have 38, 39 people with massive injuries. Nobody ever mentions them. They mentioned the 13. I know the people and the parents and the wives and husbands of the 13 people. I've had them over to Mar-a-Lago. Yeah. I've had them over to Bedminster. They're devastated. This should have never happened. And that devastation goes across. I mean, that's we're seeing in this country, in every single area, we're seeing a presidential administration just dismantling, dismantling. And I mean, I, I saw from, from Davos a week or two ago, yeah. you, you had Jamie Dimon, who has a, a, a lot of influence, especially in the financial world, the donors, the Wall Street money. You know, he, he said Trump was right about a lot. He admitted, you know, it's like, you know, for as vilified as you were, you were right about a lot. And he really criticized the Democrat Party and the treatment that they've given to your movement and your supporters and how they've written that all off and the way that they're treated. I mean, that Which are much that, bigger that than 50% of, of this country, yeah. in my opinion, yeah. much bigger. And I'd say it's close to 90, 95% of the Republican Party. I, I get a kick out of the fact, oh, these two people are unpopular. I mean, but he's unpopular. I'm not unpopular. I've got, I'll bet you 90, 95% of the Republican Party. Reagan had 86. What haven't I been right about? 
And the one thing, and I'm not predicting it, so it's not a question of right or wrong, but we're very close to World War III, much closer than anyone understands. And the power of weaponry is so incredible. I got to see it myself, okay? I mean, I understand it better than anybody. And the power of weaponry is so devastating today. And we're playing with a guy who can't put two sentences together. This is the guy. What happens if he gets back in for four more years? I think the country's finished. I do. In what regard? Uh, I think it's not going to be able to function. 